The latest now at four on the crisis in Ukraine. A woman who was born and raised in Ukraine and spent years in New England is now asking for help. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke with her today and joins us live now in studio with the new details. Brittany? Well, Kim Bryan, the Ukrainian member of parliament tells me it's a nightmare she can't wake up from. She says her friends and family are scared to leave their homes, but currently don't have electricity, gas, or even water. Two weeks into war, Salomia Bobrovska says she will stay in Ukraine to the end. I will be with my nation until Ukraine will be on the map. The parliament member had a fellowship at the Massachusetts State House a few years ago, but is now back in Ukraine experiencing what she calls horror. Like in one day, like 24 hours still. Still cannot pass the stage when you refuse that it is real life. Last week in Kyiv, she saw bombing firsthand and the destruction with it. Destroyed bridges, houses. We know that uh, maternity hospital was bombed today, like three hours ago. Children's hospital was bombed as well. That's, that's a horror to see in the 21st century. Marupol City Council calling the damage to the maternity and children's hospital colossal. Bobrovska says it's been days since she's heard from some of her friends and family. She is now working with special forces in the western part of the country to get supplies to the front lines, but tells me their armed forces need help. Our armed forces are more efficient and stronger on the land, but we cannot protect the sky, and that's why they they just bombing civilians and we will keep fighting till the end here just help us to protect the sky and Bobrovska is calling for the U.S. and NATO to issue a no-fly zone over Ukraine. So far, top NATO leaders, including the U.S., have denied that move, citing the potential to get pulled into war. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.